Welcome back to Twin Cities Live. Well, Zack Snyder made his directorial debut with the remake of the classic zombie movie Dawn of the Dead back in 2004. He's returning to the zombie apocalypse with a new movie. It's on Netflix called Army of the Dead. He talked with our movie guy, Paul McGuire Grimes, from Paul's trip to the movies. And of course, the conversation started with what else? Paul's impressive movie collection. Take a look. I like your film collection back there. That's pretty sweet. Thank you. I appreciate it. I like your entire DVD wall. That's pretty it's, epic. It's all real, so thank you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate yeah, I it. I see Seven Samurai right there above uh, Man of Steel. I hope we get a Blu-ray release of the Zack Snyder's uh, Justice League 2, by the way. No, it's coming. It's coming. It is coming. Yes. Yeah, I, think, I think you'll get it. I think it'll have, I think it has on it the black and white end color yeah. versions of the movie. I'm a completist. I need to add it to my DC collection. Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> There's $200 million in the vault beneath the strip. With a 32-hour window to get it out. Find the safe. This should be a simple in and out. Were there other Las Vegas elements that you wanted to incorporate, but you couldn't for either budgetary reasons or just timing issues? You know, I think um, we had to center most of the action to like one area of the Las Vegas strip because <laughs> It's post-apocalyptic, so actually building that world and creating that world, you know, we hit, we scanned the city for like three weeks, and the amount of money it took to just build that main strip. So it would have been nice to kind of go off the strip to some of the other areas, but we really couldn't afford. I think to we do had that. a sequence where the team walks underneath the fallen um, uh, Eiffel Tower. Right. But it was like, okay, you know what, it's too, it was, it was hard to shoot, so we said forget it. Let's just, we'll do a jump cut. What is this? A zombie tiger. That's crossing the line. Good line. <laughs> now joining us in studio, it's Paul McGuire Grimes. All right, Army of the Dead. You guys, I had so much fun with this movie. So a little background on this is that it's the zombie apocalypse in Las Vegas and all of the zombies are then kind of walled off within the strip and this casino owners hires this group of people to go back into his casino rob the money from it before Las Vegas is decimated. So it's kind of part Ocean's Eleven meets The Walking Dead because it's the oh. heist movie. It's actually very funny as well. And there's a really touching father-daughter story in there as well. So it's really hitting a lot of different angles. You just told me something crazy about Tig Notaro, who is in this movie yeah. um, that is hard to believe. Tell everybody at home. Okay, so Tig Notaro actually replaced another actor in the movie. So all of her scenes were filmed post-production after the movie wrapped, her against the green screen doing everything on her own, and then Zack Snyder just kind of inserted her back into the rest of the movie with all the other actors. It's actually incredible. It's magic. She, yeah, it's total movie magic, and she brings her really dry wit to it, and a lot of the humor's there. And if you love Las Vegas, it brings such a fun aesthetic to the movie. Yeah. You got a Liberace person here, you got that zombie tiger, which we just saw, which yeah. is one of Siegfried and Roy's tigers. Oh, no, of course So there's there just like such humor, and That's there's fun. horror in it as well. Uh, okay. How many ticket stubs, Paul? So three and a half out of five ticket stubs. It's on Netflix, or you can see it in theaters. Okay, now look, this happens from time to time, and it's happening again. A movie I've never heard of. <laughs> Paul is here to tell us about. Uh, this is called Dream Horse, and it's in theaters. Yeah, so it's based on a true story. It stars Tony Collette as Jan Vokes, who, you know, lit, works two jobs and decides to go all in to purchase and train a racehorse. But first she has to kind of get all of her other neighbors to pitch in in order to, you know, have the cost. So it's this small, sweet, touching, true story, an underdog story. So if you've seen like Billy Elliot or The Full Monty, you'll kind of get what this movie's kind of going towards. I, I don't know why. I really like a horse racing I, movie. I was just going to say, I love a horse see racing movie. Seabiscuit Secretariat, great. I, the Secretariat, I cry every time. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch this. Okay, ticket stuff. So three out of five ticket stubs for this. It's sweet. I think it's really good for families as well. You know, it's uh, that perseverance, that, you know, underdog rooting. You just root for them and you're cheering by the end. Good stuff. I All right, Paulie. Okay. Now, there was a major trailer that dropped this week. Uh, the Office apparently was all a buzz about it. Listen to this. I don't understand what happened. You're dead. You don't know how much you've given my family and me. You friends with them. I never meant to make it such a mess. I was trying to help. If you knew who I am, just how broken I am. I already know you. And I love you. 
I so mean, this, music in this. This is Dear Evan oh. Hansen. Mm -hmm. And uh, Paul, for those who don't know, and we have like fangirls going oh. crazy in here right now as they listen to that and watch that, what is Dear Evan Hansen all about? So I am fangirling over this as well. <laughs> and it's a story about a high school kid that is really suffering from mental health issues. There's suicide in this as well. And it takes on the story of self-acceptance and self-love. And it starts Ben Platt, who's reprising his Tony-winning role, and you also have Julie Ann Moore, Amy Adams, you cannot get any better than those two. The music, which is really catchy earrums, have become anthems for the teens that have seen this musical on stage, and you will be weeping by the end. And the composers, Ben Pasek and Justin Paul, also wrote La La Land and The, Great Show the Greatest Showman, so oh, you yes. know how to write really good, strong music. It arrives in theaters September 24th. Have a box of tissues available. Yeah, because I teared up immensely when I saw it on stage. Even just the him. trailer. I was going to say, if you can just Google the trailer and watch the trailer, you'll get a sense for what the story is. And even though it does include those heavy topics like suicide and loss, it also is a really beautiful story. Yeah. So it's just, I cannot wait. All right, to coming see to theaters September 24th, when the world will probably be pretty darn normal by then. Might be a full theater. <laughs> Paul, it's always nice to, uh, to see you. Thanks for being in studio. Visit Paul's website. It's called paulstriptothemovies.com for updates on movies and streaming services. You can also listen to him. He's on the Colleen and Bradley show on My Talk 1071 every Friday. You could watch more of him. His YouTube channel called Paul's Trip to the Movies. TCL's Movie Trip is brought to you by Muska Lighting. Muska Lighting has everything you need to update your home to the latest trends. They are currently running a special on all capital brand lighting. You can get 10% off during the month of May, but this deal is only available in their showroom. You'll have to head to Roseville or Eden Prairie to take advantage of it. Plus, they are looking for some help. They are currently hiring for a full-time position in their warehouse, so if you are interested, you can call them at their showroom for more information. Thanks to Muska Lighting for sponsoring TCL's movie trip. Replace old and dated fixtures with a new light and change the look and feel of your home. Our mudroom fixture from Muska Lighting is a total showstopper. We get compliments from everyone who walks through the door. Talk to the experts at Muska Lighting in Roseville and Eden Prairie for help finding the perfect light for you.